um in this video we are going to be talking about um decision making in go programming so what do you mean by decision making decision making structure requires that the programmer specify one or more condition to be evaluated or tested by the program along with a statement or statement to be executed if condition is determined to be true that is if something happen if this is this then it should do this that is decision if i will, uh, my answer is five then print this to the screen so that's about decision and um, we have several decision in decision statement in um, go programming we have the if statement we have the if else statement we also have the nested if statement we have the switch statement and we have the select statement but we are going to be looking at the uh like three if statements here like um if if else nested if and switch statement okay so to do that i would like to first create my file my folder because i don't have it here so i'm doing this one from scratch i create my folder using mkdir command make directory and i name it um decision decision making decision making so look at this here yeah, i have my decision making here and i can also um change my directory to decision making here so I change my directory there and I print ls to know how many files I have there. No files yet. So I also use code, code the name of the file. Let's say if statement dot go, if statement dot go to code this and I click on enter. So automatically my if statement dot go is created for me and open there. I use uh, control s to save it saving it in control s so now i am i'm now in my if statement dot go which is under my decision making folder so what am i to do i'm to what i'm to write my package package main then i say import what am i importing import fmt that's what i have to import then um, i have my function my function main which have no arguments so this is my basic template for any program that i'll be writing this is the basic template okay this this is um, the, the the import statement that i have import fmt so now first of all let me see if everything is working fine fmt dot print f hello world so this is um just statement saying hello world to the screen by the time i save it no error so um let me come back to my terminal here i clear the screen using this clear command and i um since i'm inside my directory so i can just uh, run the program go run go run if and i hit tab it auto completes that for me so by the time i use go run this it prints hello world so wow everything is working but this is not what i need this is not what i need i need a um, statement like if statement so um to get my if statements so i declare my local variable here i say okay if uh, x is equal to uh, of integer is equal to let's say 10 and i okay i say declare a local variable i already declare a local variable so now my condition will now be if if what if my a that is my x is um less than 20 then what should happen if my s is less than 20 this should happen the condition that will happen is to print something to the screen which is fmt dot print f print f what am i printing to the screen i'm printing um x is less than 20 i put it in quote x is less than than 20 which is um 
which is uh, my x is 10 years so x is less than 10 20 which is x is less than 20 this is my conditional statement if condition is true then print print uh, this if condition is true then print this while um, I would like to write something else here again that will always get printed to the screen even if the condition is true. This one will always get printed. So instead of me printing hello world, I can just edit this to print a um, value of x. So the value of x is what? Speci format specifier, that is a uh, D. Then I'm printing a new line, yeah. Not to forget that printing a new line then what is there that i'm going to be printing my x variable so yeah i should also print um, a new line which is backslash n so this is a print f statement for something to do something when something um when this statement is true if x is less than true so 20 so i save my file and i come back here to recompile it using this statement then um, it brings out my output saying that s is less than 20 while as the value of s is 10 that is about if statement so the next one here is going to be uh s if statement else if statement that is about if statement so the next one we are going to be doing is if s statement so i will write a comment here and say if a statement if else statement so what would be my if else statement i will likely um, use that my same variable or let me define a new variable say that a is equal to 100 which is of type integer let me declare my integer so i already declared my variable now i have to write my uh, condition i say if a is um less than if a is equal to 10 sorry if a is equal to 10 then what should happen what should happen is it should print uh, something for me fmt dot print f saying that's what the value of a is 10 so i'll use this format specifier d here and i print a new line the form value of a is 10 so what am i printing a that is i'm um, if a is equal to 10 remember this is uh, not uh this equality equality operator not assignment operator if a is equal to 10 you should do this but what if this is not the case because here i can just see it here that um, a, is, a is not equal to 10 i can also use else else it should do something else it should do okay let me say else it should print something to the screen let's say um it should um fmt print this is not a is not 10 so let me save this and um see what that will do in my code here um it just print out something to the screen and say uh s is less than okay that is for this first one and uh, what I have here is what value of s is 10 a is not 10 which is this s statement that got printed so um to avoid this uh, multiple answer here let me just comment this out here I should comment the first if statement I should comment the first if statement so that is out of the way now I save it and I come here to recompile to see how it goes okay i have my s declared there but it is not used so i comment this also sorry about that that's how go go run its program so i have um my value a is not 10 which is the s statement that got printed to the screen so the next one will be s if statements else if statements for the else if statement um instead of me using f here i can say else if 
if what if uh, what condition is that if a is equal to if a is equal to let's say 20 then you should print a is 20 a is 20 or uh, else if but i'm very sure that a is uh is not 20 yet so let me just uh print something like this again i move to the next line here i say else another else if else if a is uh let's say is equal to 30 then what should that do it should also print something fmt fmt dot print print f that says that what a is 30 but i know that this is not the case so what i, I can just likely do this and say okay just copy and paste this let me write um, another condition here let's say if it is 40 it should do this s is 40 then um if it is 50 it should do this s is a is 50 so that is what i'll be having but if it is not any of this if it is not any of this then what should happen what should happen in this case What should happen in this case? I can use my final else statement and say else, else, then you should say s is greater than 50. Yeah, yeah that is a is greater than 50. If my a is not 10, it's not 20, it's not 30, it's not 40, it's not 50. So a is greater than FMT. A is greater than 50. So let's look at what this will print out to the um, screen here. By uh, let me clear my terminal first. I clear it and I run this command again to see the output of my program. It says A is greater than 50, which means it is printing out the last value. So um. I forgot to include my backslash n in this print elf statement. Backslash n to move the cursor to the next line. So I save it and um, that is what is printed there. So let me change the value of let me change the value of my a here. Let me say a should equal to 10. Let's see what that will print out. So I recompile and um, I have my program saying the value of a is 10. Okay, which is the output of if a is equal to 10. Okay, let me say now that is not what I want. So you should uh, you should test for a is equal to 30. Let's see what that will bring. It says um and um a is Oh, sorry, that's not where I'm supposed to edit. Um, this is what I'm supposed to edit. This one should go back to the previous value. This is where I'm supposed to edit. That's my mistake. Then I recompile to print out my answer. It says that what? A is 30, which is A is 30, and it meets this condition, which says A is 30. So that is about um, if and if else statement in Go programming so for the third one which is nested if statement um before i do that i would like to comment this code out so i comment it out by doing this um i comment this out okay so um this is no longer my business uh, i only have my a a value to be equal to 30 here and nothing else here so I only have my a value to be that. Now let me um, also comment this out because uh, okay, let me just reinitialize it to be hundred because that is what I need. I need a to be hundred and um, I need variable b also. I need two variables for my nested if statement. I say var b of type int is equal to two hundred. So before this code, I would like to write a comment here that says um, nested 
if statement nested if statement so i have my variable a which is 100 and um, variable b which is 200 so in this i would like to write my if statement my if statement which will be uh okay i already have it copied already so i can just say Uh, one thing I notice here is that my declared um, b variable here is gone. So I use var b, var b of type int, which is equal to, um, which is equal to 200. Yes, I remember. So that is the value of my b variable before I now test for this condition. So what this is trying to do is, if a is equal to 100, then you should check this. Another if statement. If this is true do this also it says if this is also true if b is equal to 200 then i have my print f statement printing that the value of a is 100 yes that's specific d former specifier which is a placeholder for a and the value of b is a uh, former specifier for the value of 200 so uh, uh, after my code this will always run this won't run if any of this value is not equal to 100 or 200 respectively so um for this that we always run it says the exact value of a is this and the exact value of b is this so let me save this and uh, see what my code does yes first of all i would like to clear my screen so it can be visible and i'll use uh, the previous command which is go run if statement dot go to compile my program it says the value of a is 100 and the value of b is 200 that means these conditions are true i would like to change the value at the top but let's look at this it says the exact value of a is 100 the exact value of b is 200 which is true for these statements here um i go to the top again to see where um the where i can easily break the code let me say this one is um 250 here the code will surely break because it won't be printing the value of a is 100 and the value of b is 200 like i have here because one of these conditions is not true so i already saved my file let me recompile here um i hit go run if statement then it brings out this and says okay it only prints out as that value of a is 100 as the value of b is 250 without printing um this that is printed at the first place the value of a is 100 and the value of b is 200 so that is about nested if statements nested if statements checking two variables and um, comparing it if the first variable is equal to this then check the second variable if it is also equal to this they should do this but if any of the variable is not equal to the uh, set value here then it, this statement will not uh, be executed it will skip it and it will mark it as false it's only if this return true then uh, this will be executed so i um, change my condition here back to 200 so i save my file i come here to recompile to see that everything is working fine like i have here it says uh, the value of a is 100 and the value of b is 200 exact value of a is 100 exact value of b is 200 so that is about uh if if else and nested if statement in go programming